Hey everybody, Destin Legary here, and EA has allowed us to share the entire 26 minute behind closed doors gameplay demo for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order with you. As long as we added commentary about our demo experience, so here we go. As you know, this takes place on Kashyyyk and our BD-1 droid is alongside the new Padawan, Cal Kestis. The opening scene has the player methodically working their way toward a group of AT-ATs with an unclear motivation. Once he actually gets to climb the AT-AT, it was really cool to see that they use seaweed as a traversal mechanic as it does a good job of immersing you immediately into the scene. Get up there! Overpowered here, I'm guessing that's for demo purposes, and hopefully we can't just destroy everything in one go. The gameplay demo was hands-off, but I was glad to see that your force abilities will be limited and that there seems to be a counter system in place. Reading a new ship on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Huh? It actually worked. Okay, uh, Report, what's happening over there? You're in violation of Imperial Protocol. Shut that guy up. Zero seven. Stand down or we won't have Better. <laughs> Let's do this. That's the blasters. Whoops. Once you're in the pilot seat, the entirety of the ad ad segment seems to be on rails, and yes, I was incredibly happy to see Saw Guerrero stop by. Note that it was without his breathing apparatus, by the way. Hey! Who are you? Someone who just brought an ad ad to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. <laughs> We're venturing on the imp landing pad up ahead. Would my fire support? Copy that. You make him even angrier.
course, you can't have an ad at the entire game, but thankfully, this gives the demo a chance to show off their storytelling and interactable NPCs in the next segment. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt the pill supply lines. Hey! So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> you get that off a corpse? My master gave it to me. This pad supports an Imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go! In the demo held for IGN, they accidentally hopped into their upgrade menu here, but in this gameplay segment, they do it a bit later. Otherwise, they largely show the same beats in this gameplay chunk. You can travel to other planets and interact with other NPCs for off the beaten path side quests should you choose. you're all right yeah yeah good to see you too this place is a dump your plan worked and now you want to follow Saul you don't like that idea I'm concerned you're jumping from one risk to the next wait what I fly my ship in the middle of a battlefield and now we're talking about risks why didn't you stop me my job is to guide you on your path not choose it for you so here's my advice the Empire's overtaken hundreds of worlds. There's a reason Saw chose Kashyyyk. Saw's goals may not be the same as ours. We should be careful. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Dialogue options being present gives me hope that we can have a meaningful impact on each of these relationships, though we, unfortunately, did not see any of that happen during this session. Here. Could be supplies inside this walker. Are you okay? I'm... I'm fine. Phew. I'm fine. Maybe a little bruised. Taking a quick detour, they cheekily show off the BD-1 droid's ability to scan items and expand the lore of a space. This is great if you love diving deeper into the lore of pieces of gear and things you find in the wild. <laughs> Saw should be at the other end of this trench. Right. We need another power source. The hollow map is a nice touch and reminiscent of Metroid. I hope that we get a lot of exploration out of the later sections. Here the player finds an unexplored section and begins looking there for a way to move forward. Look, a workbench. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll check it out. Another scan here of the Y Shock, and we're on our way back to the impeded path and into combat. It's nice to see that this section ends with a pathway back to where you were before. Hopefully, it's always like that. How much current can you conduct? Well, with this transformer, I bet you can short circuit Imperial Tech. Next, the player makes their way into some heavier combat after a brief platforming segment. During the entire playthrough, I couldn't stop thinking about the Force Unleashed, and I'm hoping that this is an evolution of those ideas. Thanks. Refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. Refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. You hear that? Said he needs my help. Come on, buddy. Get 
Try to slice into this one. Thanks. Attention all units. I've lost contact with our station stationed in cargo pad 119 Gamma. Keep your post on stay alert. Cal does have opponents that offer him a challenge like the Purge Trooper, built to take on four sensitive combatants. He looks to have three life bars and requires several fighting tactics to take down. Watch out! Back me up! Again, it looks like some stealth elements are available as an option, but it looks like Cal can handle these guys. Jedi, engage with caution. Plug into this thing? Okay. that was there did you? you just wanted to turn that cutter on yes you can use the force in combat but they also tease puzzles that will require you to use those same abilities to progress on target enemies are all over but that doesn't mean they will partner up against you the y shock for example look to be just as aggressive toward the flame troopers as they are to cal Yeah. 
That execution was sweet and I cannot wait to see all of them. The final segment has us platforming after finding one more piece of lore. Finale now has us looking at one more combat scenario to give an impression as to what it would be like fighting against multiple targets. I have to wonder if they'll actually make us this powerful or introduce stronger and stronger enemies like teased with the finale we'll see in just a second. The Jedi will be here any minute and our reinforcements in retreat. Good. Sir, the fewer distractions the better. Muscle, get ready! That's it. What do you think of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order? It reminds me of Force Unleashed, so I'm all in, but what did you think? Let us know in the comments below, and for more on all things Star Wars, keep it right here on IGN.